Please welcome Wizard. Hi everyone, I'm Tony, co-founder and CEO of Wizard. And I'm Florian, co-founder and COO. The reason why I'm here today is because building websites and app sucks. It really does suck. People tend to think that the workflow is linear. You get an ID, you design it, you code it, and there you go, you have a final product. Turns out things are way more messy than that. Countless situations happen between the different stakeholders. It takes time, it's expensive, it's frustrating. And at the end of the day, you don't get your product out there as fast as possible. This is insane. We're in 2018, there is self-driving cars, we have self-landing rocket ship, and we're still building websites and apps the same way since the 90s. What we decided to do is take another approach to it. We leverage AI and computer vision to transform a hand-drawn wireframe to code automatically. The idea is to do continuous iterations as fast as possible. But what we're also trying to do in a nutshell is teach machines to understand these user interfaces the same way people do. Let's jump into a live demo to show everyone how it works live. What we'll be doing is that on the left side, you see the platform running. On the right side, you see the phone that Tony has right now in his hand. I will be drawing an application standing here on stage on this piece of paper. And within 25 to 30 seconds, we will convert that to a working application. All right, so Florian is building a new app. And he's drawing while being standing up just to show you that you could essentially be doing this with a customer in a meeting room or with your team on the whiteboard. But if you don't like to draw wireframes by hand, our technology can understand any image. So you could imagine drawing the wireframe with your favorite software and just upload, it, uh, upload an image directly. It doesn't have to be hand-drawn. All right, now we are uploading the image to the platform. So let's see what is going on here. So while I'm speaking, you can see that the image is being uploaded, processed by the algorithm, pixel by pixel, and then code is being generated on the fly. There we go. So as you can see, it took 20 seconds. We have some code we can actually start using. So let's download it. I'll open the code. This is HTML, CSS. Let's open it in the browser directly. And there we are. We have our implemented user interface. This is responsive design by default. And all the buttons and elements are clickable and ready to be used. For those of you who are leaning on the developer side, you might actually want to see how the code looks like. This is AI-generated code that is human-readable and extendable, following the best practice. Let's do another. Do you want to do another one? Yeah, while Tony was talking, I decided to draw another one to see different elements, see how it reacts. All right, let's do it. Let's snap a second picture. Same story as before. Just snap a picture, upload it. It takes about 25, 30 seconds. And there you have it. You will have code again. Imagine the amount of iterations you can do with this. Just sitting in a meeting room with your client, drawing on a whiteboard, trying to communicate with him, figuring out what he wants in his application, and converting these directly to higher fidelity UIs to just test the prototype instantly. As Sorry. you can see, same story. Within 25 to 30 seconds, it converted again. And again, this is all AI driven. So we can actually go ahead and define a new style if we want to. So we have a style guide system directly in the platform. And you can go ahead and create a new style guide. Um, whatever. So you can imagine creating this once and reusing, reusing it for all the different applications. And this is great for all the developers, but we know that when we're building applications, we start with a hand-drawn wireframe. But very often, we like to go into the digital design to be able to take a step further and tweak, fine-tune these things. 
What we've also added is a sketch output. So you can go right away from a hand-drawn, from a piece of paper, directly to a sketch file that you can download, same story as the code, open up, and work on top of. So I'm downloading the sketch file right away. Let's open it up. So same as the code, the sketch file is, is following best practices. It's architectured properly. We have all, all the symbols ready for being customized, essentially, and ready for the designer to take over and fine tune everything. A designer can literally just take this, take any of the individual elements that were in the sketch file, extend them, move them, do anything with it. But what is also extremely important is the structure that gets created in the, text, in the sketch file. This is something that is crucial to be able to build on top, iterate, and really build powerful applications. Well, thank you very much for watching. This was our live demo. We've been going for about a year now. We've just launched our private beta a month ago. What we've decided to do for everyone here at the Web Summit, if you go to our website, wizard.io slash Web Summit, you sign up through that link, you'll be able to get priority access. We've had about 10,000 people that sign up to the early access, and we're only onboarding little by little. So take the chance, sign up right away, so then you can try the technology yourself from your computer at home just next week already. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. All right, judges, ask your questions. Uh, who's the target audience for this? Is this the creative design companies, or are you trying to get developers who will somehow use this? Um, yeah. Like, who, who's, who's going to be using this the most? So when we started, the obvious pick was web development agencies, the ones that continuously make new websites, new applications. The idea is to help during the, the idea generation phase for the designers and the product managers, and then afterwards for the developers to just skip the boring part, doing the front-end code. But what we realized today is any company in the world has a website or an app. So even though we target web agencies initially, we, anyone can be our customers. Um, and as of today, we have actually 1.5 thousand sign-up users waiting to uh, be onboarded, including 25 of the f Fortune 500 companies. Do you have a pricing scheme yet, or is that still in development? We have the pricing scheme, but Rhino is free in private beta. Exactly. So we've been toying, toying a little bit around, but the idea, the pricing will come next year somewhere. It will be a subscription model, SaaS software, but we'll go deeper into that later. On the roadmap, you're showing that you're taking a picture of a sketch. Do you have plans to use a live camera with a whiteboard that I can update on the fly, or is it static to app, and that's as far as you want to go? That's a very good question, actually. So we've talked a lot to the users, and we realized that having it on the fly wasn't what was bringing the most advantage to them. For them, it was really being able to take a picture, snap it, and then get it. So we're not trying to do the on the fly, but what we're trying to do instead is do multiple screens. So what you'll be able to do as well is download multiple screens so that when you get the sketch file, all the wireframes are within that screen, but also for the code that everything is there. But the real next step on the product roadmap is right now we're doing hand-drawn to digital. What we'll be doing as well is digital to code, meaning that you start with a hand-drawn, you upload that, you convert it, you build on top, take a screenshot. You can do it in any of the software, Sketch, Photoshop, you name it. Take a screenshot, upload it again, get the final code of it. OK, so I think you mentioned that you use AI to, so can you? Let us know what kind of AI, what kind of techniques, and about the team, just a little bit how. Very good, very good question. So we, the, uh, we are de leveraging deep learning. So there is a computer vision part of it. We need to understand what is in the image. So we are leveraging the same technology used in self-driving cars, for example, to understand, make sense of, vi of visual data. And we also have the part which is about code generation. So there is a double aspect of natural language processing and computer vision. As, par as far as the team goes, we are seven people full time. Five of us are engineers with postgraduate degrees in computer science and machine learning. OK, so but what, what kind of, let's say, neural networks? Yes. What, what kind of? Well, what I mean by deep learning, this is deep neural networks. Deep learning. Yeah, end-to-end, uh, -end, actually, the entire way. And is there any PhD on your team? We are all masters uh, from one of the greatest universities in Europe. And actually, this, this, this company started as a research project uh, back in June 2017. Back then, uh, Tony here, that's standing on stage, wrote a paper called Pigs to Code. That was a very small prototype of actually what we're building right now. And he open sourced it, launched it out. It went absolutely viral. In the GitHub repository, it was more popular during that month than Google TensorFlow, 
which was very fun because it was what we built the tech on top of. So that was, that was Excuse me, what, what is the, that university, the best university in Europe? ETH uh, Zurich. Zurich. Okay, guys. Among others. <laughs> Thank you very much. Put your hands together. Thank you, guys.